up guys, it's Gina. Welcome to uh, episode number 102 of Pokemon Showdown Live. We're going to be running it back with the same uh, UU Hyper Offense team. Because you know it's pretty fun. Spam's priority. My type of team. Um, hopefully we can find one pretty soon. Um, honestly, I feel like this team isn't as good as when I first made it. Um, because like... It's always been one of those teams that I can, like, go to if I kind of need a win. Um, if, like, I'm playing a best of three or whatever and I need a game for a rubber match or if I just want to, like, enter a tour with a random team, I'll usually choose this one just because it really does fit a lot of my play style, but I really don't feel like Hyper Offense is as good in UU right now as, as it previously has been, mainly because the meta has settled down a lot. Um, people are real like, people are shifting more towards the focus of oh god, there's this one broken thing to where it's to the mentality of, okay, like we can um, focus on other things now, and it's not necessarily as important. But anyway, um, we got a game here um, versus Daniel, Daniel Timothy, and I'm going to go ahead and lead Heliolisk, actually, as opposed to Fortress, because he does have that Crobat chilling right there. Um, he ends up, <laughs> ends up leading with Machamp, um, with a rather interesting nickname, so you know whatever um, I'm just clicking volt switch um, looking kind of like AV damage although heliolisk is a little bit underwhelming um, I feel like its best role really is just to break cores because um, it gets a lot of coverages he's sub is are, are we seeing the sub punch machamp or sub bulk up because that'd be that would actually be pretty sick I'd be down to see some of that but it won't actually matter because I have hyper voice he just goes for the knock which does zero and uh, I can just iron head again uh, zero cost um, that's a theme in this episode, zero. Um, I can Iron Head again. It's honestly no biggie if he goes into Suicune because I do have a, a pretty safe switch into that in uh, um, Heliolisk as he goes into Rotom Heat, and that is lefties. So good to know. Um, defensive fire types do give this team a little bit of trouble, but I think I can just go into Entei here. Click Stone Edge and uh, go from there. As, uh, does he Volt Switch? Yeah, he Volt Switch. Good play. Uh, ends up getting a crit, which is really unfortunate, but, uh, not too much of an issue yet. Um, if I get my rocks up, that'll be very, very helpful, because I can limit that thing's switching abilities versus Entei, and, uh, as he goes out into Suicune here, which, you know, is kind of what I was expecting, but I can just go straight back out into Lisk. Um, he has that to take Volt Switches, but, um, nothing can shut down me from getting momentum as he goes for the sub is this guy's team just mono sub <laughs> um i'm just clicking uh t-bolt because it's probably sub cm uh skull ice beam and this is really the only reason heliolisk is here um if raikou was still in the tier this would probably be raikou um not gonna lie because Raikou is a little bit better at beating Suicune 1v1, but, you know, consequentially, Raikou is not in the tier, and uh, Lisk is not very good running specs, so... Um, does he see him, or does he, he see him? Sick. Um, we're just going to keep firing off uh, T-Bolts right here, because even if I can just weaken this thing to a reasonable degree, um, then something like Xiao can come in and pick it off, as that is still doing 56%. He goes for the Ice Beam. I am not quite dead yet, which is nice. Um... Volt Switch will kill, and it will allow me to pick up some momentum if he does switch, so I feel like that is my best play. Um, also saves me from priority later. So he goes back into Rotom Heat, so picking up easy momentum. It's not even hard. As uh, I get the crit there, which I guess is nice. Um, yeah, I, I guess it's kind of revenge for the crit earlier, because like, neither one of the crits did a lot, but uh, just they were both... Annoyances. I'm going to go for the Stone Edge right here. If he leaves, if he leaves this in right here, uh, I think that's a really bad play. But at the same time, he doesn't have a whole lot that wants to switch into a Banded Stone Edge from Entei. So, it's like, what you going to do about it? Um, the answer is nothing. Wow, nice. Um, he stayed in and got rewarded for it. That's why I like to see. Um, that sucks. Because now it's substantially harder for me to win. But uh, he just goes into this. Um, I'm going to go back into Dewblade because uh, I'd imagine he's either going to... Like, he can't knock me out with uh, one knockoff. So he either subs or... Yeah, he just subs. He's losing more health. It's fine by me. Because I can just uh, Iron Head. Knockoff won't be able to knock me out. Then I can probably Sneak. I feel like Sneak is the better play. Um, this, he just goes for the knock. I'm eating it. And uh, Sneak will knock him into the range to where he can't sub again. So if he tries to do that, then rather unsuccessful for him plus it hits a uh, 
Rotom for neutral damage. So if I do get two sneaks off, that's very nice. As uh, he just goes for another knockoff. Uh, knocks me out, which is fine. As uh, I think right here, now is as good of a time as ever to go into 4 I feel as if that is the play. Although I could go into Obama Snow, a nice shard to knock him out, but that just baits in Rotom Heat, which I'm not really comfortable with. Um, so I think my game plan right here is going to be get rocks up and then kaboom, because if he tries to go into Crobat, that's super helpful. I can just straight get that out of the way and off my plate as uh, he goes to the D-Punch. Doesn't actually bring me into range, uh, which is a little bit disappointing. So we're going to go for the explosion. Hopefully we A, don't hit ourselves in confusion, B, he switches out into Crobat. That'd be the ideal, as that ends up. One of those two ends up working out, so I guess that's good enough for me. Um, I think right here I'm going to go out into Entei, because I either click Sacred Fire or click Stone Edge and get a kill. Um, I could also click E-Speed, if he goes out into Crobat to try to not to it KO that. And as he does go into that, which is pretty nice, um, yeah, I'm clicking E-Speed for damage, because if I do get damage on that, then it, Okay, basically what I'm trying to think of here is how I can like reasonably win the game. Um, I think what it's going to come down to is me hitting a high jump kick with Xiao as he goes straight out of, in a road of heat. That helps a lot because now he can't come back in unless he gets rocks off, um, rocks off the field rather. Um, and I thought about going for Sacred Fire too there, but you know, I guess it ends up working out because uh, Rotom is not gone because he goes into the spooky tree. <laughs> um, I kind of imagine he's just going to sub right here, but I want to keep this around because it can... Uh, Sacred Fire that and uh, do some damage. So he ends up going for the Wisp. Um, I guess he knew I was going to switch, so good play. Um, but I can just go straight out and Entei click Sacred Fire. Um, more or less get a kill uh, because that can't take two. So assuming I hit, Trevenant is gone, which is actually really helpful because um, Xiao does not like Trevenant chilling around. Um, this game may come down to a series of high jump kicks. <laughs> so that's always reassuring. Um, it'd be beautiful if he went into. He goes in. This is definitely not the play. <laughs> that just died. Um, I could see him going into a crowbat right here. In which case, I'm just staying in. Actually, I kind of want this. Um, yeah, he goes into crowbat. So what I'm actually gonna do is. Okay, this beats. Even if he defogs, this outright beats. That on the switch in. Actually, it may not be that on the switch. Yeah, it probably does. Um, it beats that, that, and that. So I kind of need this. Um, Shao doesn't do as much for me. So I'm going to go into that. Because I can still threaten him out with the Stone Edge. Uh, if he goes for the Brave Bird. Which he does. Which is absolutely fine by me. Because now I can just come in. Mega. Knock him out. Ensure that uh, ensure that my uh, rocks do stay up. Which is super helpful. Um, I can weaken... Trevenant, which is really nice. Um, this kind of makes me wish I was like mixed with Blizzard, um, but you know, it's okay. Because um, he can't go out into Suicune right here, because that's taking a seed bomb. Uh, Rotom dies to rocks, and uh, Trevenant will go down, uh, or won't go down, but I can SD in its face and like kind of boost alongside it. Uh, standard little ladder play. Um, I tried to get high up on the ladder, but I don't think this guy is super high up. Um, he's using some cool sets, but. Like sub seam Suicune, and I'm assuming sub bulk up Machamp, but he just ends up forfeiting, and uh, we are only eight minutes in. We're gonna go and grab another one because you know it's Friday. Uh, we can we can go ahead and stretch it out a little bit. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it until I get one, and uh, I'll be right back. All right, we're back. Um, this guy's team is more threatening, without a doubt. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and lead off Heliolisk. Reason being is that I don't want him leading off with Cloyster and doing any shell smash stuff. Um, he le ends up leading off with Shandy. Is this Scarf? Kind of want to say it's Specs and Hydreigon is Scarf, so I'm not T Bolt. Volt Switch, help me. Um, I yeah, end up clicking T Bolt anyway. I get the full, I get the para, which is lucky, but he ends up knocking me out with the Fire Blast. So, not what I wanted to do at all. At all, because now that thing is super threatening, but it's okay. I've weakened one of his fire types. If I can get rocks up and uh, block his spin, then I think I can potentially win with uh, Bomba Snow, but we'll have to see. That's really unfortunate. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead, go ahead and uh, get my rocks up right here. He ends up getting, or he hits his fire blast, which is always good. And uh, I can just go ahead and get a spike up right here, as he does end up switching out into his own fortress, which is absolutely fine. Um... 
because I can just go straight out into my dew blade. Um, I'd imagine he's probably going to try to get rocks up here um, on the switch as he tries to spin. Alrighty, uh, you do you, man. Um, I'm going to Iron Head here. Reason being, I feel like he's going to hard switch that Dragon, and he goes out in a Suicune. Either way, that's okay. Um, well, it's not really okay, but um, I'm going to go out into a Bomb of Snow and directly risk the burn, which is a horrible play, so I'm going out in a Fortress. Um, please just go for the Scald. He goes for the CM. Um, I'm gonna go for the explosion if by some reason, like, I would hope he CMs again so I can get explosion damage off, but he just ends up scalding, which, you know, it's whatever. Um, this is really bad because I meant to click Volt Switch turn one, but the cancel button is like, eh, nah. So I'm just gonna have a D right here. Um, hopefully I force him out with the threat of, like, a Giga Drain which I do as he goes into Fortress, which is very nice. Um, so I guess I kind of SD for nothing, but I get to see if he's Overcoat. Um, he's not, he's 30, so I guess that's okay. I'm going to go straight out into Dew Blade, though, and I'm probably going to click SD this time, um, because if I can start getting Residual on Suicune, that's very, very nice, as he tries to spin again. Um, so yeah, I'm SDing this time, because I stop him from CMing um, to some degree, so... We'll see how that goes. <laughs> um, as he stays in and tries to get up his rocks, that's beautiful. Because um, now I can get a plus... I'm Iron Heading, hopefully. Um, I was going to try to go plus four, but Iron Head, I do believe, is the better play. Because if he goes out in a Hydreigon, please tell me I... Nice! I get Hydreigon out of the way, which is basically the one thing stopping Dewblade from running over his team. Like, at a very basic level. Um... Because now he has to go Entei, and uh, I'm not sacking this thing yet at all. <laughs> That's a pretty bad play, I think. Because um, as nice as E-Speed would be later, I don't really think it's worth it. Because now I could just come in and click Knock, question mark, as he goes for the Sacred Fire. Um, that did a lot, ow. Um, I'm actually going to click E-Speed of my own, uh, hoping that I can put him into range of... Yeah, I put him in a range of sneak. That's perfect. Um, this is actually kind of working out now. Because um, now Obama Snow actually has like legitimate setup opportunities, which is always wonderful. Um, so I'm just sneaking right here. If he goes into Cloister, which I half imagine he will do, uh, then I'll just probably as a D on that. And uh, hopefully clean up with Scarf High Jump Kick. But we'll have to see. Because Cloister can actually still win the game as he goes into it right here. The threat. <laughs> um... I feel like Iron Head and Shadow Iron Head plus Shadow Sneak is my best play. As he's mixed with Surf, that was a crit. Ow. Um, but it looks like Sneak will be able to take him out here. It's gonna be close. I'm not gonna be able to take him out. Ah, oh, that crit is so lame. So lame. Um I guess the upside to this is that I get to go into snow. Actually, I'm just gonna go into Shao and U-turn, because I wanna take the least amount of rocks damage possible if I do if I am force the switch, although Shandy dies on the switch, which is great. Um, so yeah, clicking U-turn, knocking this out. Uh, Mixed Cloister is actually cool. I feel like that would be a legitimate set to build around sometimes. Um, I'm going to go into Snow right here because I am already mega -ed. I can set up on uh, Fori, no problem, if that's what he wants to do, um, because I feel like that really is his play right here. Um, yeah, he goes into Fori, and as long as I dodge burn, and... Actually, him toxicing here may be my best scenario. So he spins, which is fine, because um, I'm just SDing again. And, and the reason I say toxicing may be best for me, right? Best for me is because then I can. Yeah, that did zero. Um, I'm just gonna go for the EQ. I'm not getting greedy. Um, is because then I can't get burned by Suicune Scald. But I think even now, since I'm plus four, like it's gonna end up working out because that. Because him, like, sacking Shandy right there uh, means that I can clean up with high jump kick. He knows that, so he's going to go ahead and end it right there. And that is going to wrap up today's episode. If you guys did enjoy, um, I urge you to leave a like, as it really does help show support for the stuff that I'm doing here on the channel. Um, also, make sure to answer today's comment question of the video, um, which is, what do you guys think about me bringing, potentially bringing back some old teams to use? Um, only reason I say that is because it's hard to uh, make like a team that I'm really comfortable with every week. Um, like I made this team, which is good. I'm just not like super comfortable with it yet. Um, and blenders are going off in the background. I apologize. Uh, 
yeah, like the, Brennan, Brennan made this, Brennan and I made this team, can't talk, um, which like, I think is cool, but I'm not like 100% comfortable with it yet, so, you know, it's whatever, um, anyway, go ahead and, uh, let me know the answer to that, and with that, I urge you guys to subscribe if you guys are enjoying the constant content, and with that, I'll catch you on the flip-flop.